Christmas vehicle. What a squad. Today's review, we're going to be looking at the Minikin version 2 by his Let's check this puppy out. So welcome back to a Pistons Vapor. What's going on? I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. The Asmodus Minikin version 2 was sent to me from Asmodus for the purpose of this review. It's not going to change my opinion of this touchscreen box mod. This is a 180 watt temperature controlled touchscreen dual 18 650 box mod. It does your nickel, your titanium, stainless steel, TCR, TFR, uh, power, curve, uh, all the necessary modes that you need and want in a box mod, okay? So what we're going to do in this review, guys, is we're going to dive down. We're going to take a look at it. I'm going to go through the whole menu system for you, uh, show you a couple different devices on it to show uh, what sits flush and what doesn't. Then we'll come back up. We'll vape on it, talk on it. Uh, pros and cons, final thoughts. If a mugger stole my book bag, would I go out and buy one? Uh, let you know how much they are, where you can find it, and we will wrap it up like usual. All right, guys, let's go dive down. Let's take a look at this bad boy. I'll see you guys in a minute. We're at the close up of the Asmonis Minikin version 2 180 watt temperature control box mod by Asmodus. So, this is the box that it will come in. It says Asmodus Minikin 2. Okay, Minikin 2 over 180 watt touchscreen. 21 plus adult use only has a beautiful Asmodus logo up top. Okay, we're gonna run through some specs right now. So it has a touchscreen, obviously. Five watts to 180 watts. Um, in TC mode, it goes five watts to 120 watts, which is very nice. It fires 0.1 to 2.5 ohms in both modes. Uh, max output is 7.5 volts. Output peak current is 45 amps. Temperature control range 212 to 572, like most Asmodus products are 100 to 300 Celsius. Variable wattage, TCR, TFI modes, and a variety of different wires. It takes two 18650s. Charging parameters is a 1 amp, 5 volt DC charging, and it's firmware upgradable. You would get your box mod in there. There's a pull tab. You would get your uh, battery. Uh, what batteries to use and what batteries not to use like bad wraps and whatnot um, You want to make sure that your batteries are definitely uh, the wraps very nice to use as modus minikin 2 specification card A warranty card 30 day warranty and you would get your user manual but This uses the GX 180 HT chip, okay? Work efficiency is 95%, 10 seconds of vaping time, reverse polarity protection, high voltage warning, low voltage warning, low resistance protection, high resistance protection, and chip temp protection. Okay, so it's a very in detailed uh, user manual. And here is the box mod. Okay, it's got a nice like Vapor Shark, um, the Minikin version 1.5. It's the same type of rubberized, comfortable, soft um, exterior. Um, it is a little bit of an e juice magnet. It is what it is. Okay, you also get your USB cable inside of the box mod when you uh, receive it. Let's take a look at the external part of the box mod first okay you're gonna have your 510 spring-loaded 510 as you can see you can definitely get a 24 maybe even a 25 millimeter on here with no overhang uh, I definitely like how it's nice and uh, big up top uh, so this supports nickel stainless steel 316 317 titanium TCR and TFR all right 
as well as power in curve mode. Then everything does sit flush. I will show you afterwards, but uh, then you have your fire button on here. It's a nice chrome fire button. It is a fingerprint magnet, but um, you know that's something to be desired when you have a chrome styled fire button. But it's a very nice big, uh, no button rattle, very responsive fire button on there. I must say it says Asmodis on it, as you can see. Then you have your OLED screen display. It's a touch screen display as well. And you have your micro USB port on the bottom. Then if you look at the bottom, you have holes for vent battery ventilation on the bottom as well. And it's a pretty seamless, you have the Asmodis symbol on the back, okay? And it's a very weird ergonomical uh, style of a box mod. Um, it's a very small box mod, um, but it is uh, definitely a small type of device so you have a little thing here to grab so this is the inside of the uh, battery door you have a magnet up there and a magnet down below um, I don't know if that's my serial number 100 or not it is a very clean battery tray you have your uh, spring-loaded contacts very firm up top and then non spring contacts on the bottom uh, series so plus minus plus minus very nice internal battery tray it goes on very nicely um, there's a little bit of play vertical up and down very very small play there's just a very minor play in the door but there's no rattle or anything whatsoever to turn it on one two three four five it will turn on you'll have your asmodis symbol and then it automatically defaults to 80 watts so you have your battery indicators of both batteries you have your ohms your volts your puff counter on the left how many seconds you're vaping and then the mode that you're in so to uh get into the menu system you want to slide down and then you can adjust your wattage this way you can hold it it does go up to 180 watts as you can see okay hit the power to get to the menu system if you click on resistance you can hit uh, check the resistance and it'll ask you yes or no I'll hit yes and then it's a 0.17 so to get back in you would want to slide hit power uh, then you can hit mode and then you have power coil TCR TFR so if you hit power you can do go to your power mode or you can hit curve now, Curve is basically, you know, a lot of other devices have it, but um, say if you wanted to have a, a Curve, a ramp up time. Um, so say you like to vape uh, 70 watts, but you have some Clapton's on there and you want to uh, have a little bit of a higher ramp up time. So you would hit that and then for how many seconds, you can have it for a couple seconds, maybe you want two and a half seconds okay so it's 81.5 watts of three seconds then you can adjust the next one to maybe 70 watts you can also change the how long that lasts as well um, and then when you're done you hit the fire button and then you're into curve now you have to slide to unlock you have to once you go back to the main menu you definitely have to slide back down to get back into it so we'll hit mode you can go to coil you can go to nickel ni200 Stainless steel 316, 317, titanium, return, okay. Anyone that you wanted to choose, you would just hit the fire button. Then you have your Fahrenheit, your wattage, coil. We go into there, you can adjust the wattage in temperature control mode. Up to 120 watts. You have to slide down again. You can adjust your Fahrenheit. 572, you hit up again at Ryan Robbins to Celsius. Hit up again at Ryan Robbins. So I like that as well. So you see it's very responsive. And then you hit your fire button. Coil, mode, TCR. So if I wanted stainless steel, To be, I don't know, 105, let's say. All right, then you're in TCI mode. 
and you can adjust those accordingly. Slide it down again, go to mode, TFR. All right, you have your, all your different TFR parameters to adjust. Okay, if you go to setup, you can adjust the brightness. See if I did three, then go to setup. Puff limit, you can set a puff limit if you wanted to. Slide down again, set up. That's to clean your puff counter. I'll clean it, why not? So now I have zeros on that side. I have the uh, Tokugawa RDA on top with some uh, James Mucklin aliens in there. So it says on one of the websites that checking resistance is TC mode only. Um, but it's definitely not TC mode only. You can definitely check the resistance um, like I just did in, in any mode. It automatically locks the screen as well. Like you can't adjust anything. You have to physically slide down. Um, I haven't had any issues with it. Uh, sometimes depending on where you touch it, uh, it might... Um... See now it says slide to unlock. It's, it's pretty responsive. Um, sometimes I go like there and see it doesn't work. So you have to like go to the top down. So that's the menu system of the uh, Minikin version 2. So this is next to the Minikin version 1.5 by Asmodus. That is next to the R150 by Hotse. That is next to the Alien 220 watt dual 18650 box mod by Smock. Or smoke that is next to the boss 3000 dna 200 box mod by vaporized nomads that is with the creus plus 25 millimeter rta and there is no overhang so you can get a 25 millimeter on there no problem no overhang whatsoever that's the close-up of the minikin version 2 by Asmodus. let's go back up top let's vape on it talk on it pros and cons final thoughts from mugger stole my book bag would i go out and buy one See you guys in a minute. What do I like about it? What I don't like about it? Well, um, I definitely like the touch screen. I know a lot of people are going to have questions about the touch screen on this. Um, it, it, it's very responsive. I haven't seen too many issues with the touch screen on this. For any, the only thing that I could see could be a little bit problematic is the unlocking, uh, swiping down to unlock it to get into the menu features. Sometimes if you hit it in the middle of the screen, it won't um it won't do it you have to go from the direct top and slide down and then hit that power and uh it definitely goes in there but right now like it's not doing it but now it did so um sometimes that's the only real nitpick and con that i have with the touch screen on this box mod is that sometimes unlocking it with the slide sometimes it won't work but once you get used to it, once you get accustomed to it, it really isn't that big of a deal. I definitely like the menu system on this. It's a very simplistic menu system. I'm going to go over a couple cons. They could be cons. They could be subjective cons. It all really depends on what your personal tastes are. But um, the, the fire button. Uh, it's very responsive. When you hit that fire button, it fires. It definitely fires right off the gate uh, when you press the fire button. But the mirrored chrome finish on it uh, definitely can get some fingerprints as well as the screen anything that's shiny you're going to get fingerprint magnets okay but i like how it's fully black and it has a nice chrome button and i also like how it has one button and the screen is touch i definitely really really like that about this box mod i think this is one of the only touchscreen box mods that i personally can say uh is the way it touch touchscreen box mod should be i've reviewed a couple um, that had touchscreen but this is by far the best one as of right now um, i definitely like how they did it it's very responsive it's very ease of use and it takes away a lot of buttons on the device um, which makes it a very clean uh clean looking uh elegant box mod it's like a rubberized vapor shock and the same feeling as the minikin version 1.5 uh battery door uh, it has that same rubberized texture. Um, I definitely like that. It's soft. It's comfortable in the hand. Uh, it feels nice on the fingers. That brings me to a con about it, though. E-juice that gets on this box mod, it will show up, and it will really pop out at you. Um, and I've noticed that. Like, any, uh, even a drip of E-juice or a, 
you know, you swiped a little bit of e-juice off the atomizer and you touched it, you'll definitely, it picks up e-juice a lot on the, uh, the texture of the box mod. The battery door, the battery door is very nice. It has minimal movement in either direction, very minimal movement, but there's no rattle of any sort. There's no button rattle, there's no battery rattle, there's no battery door rattle. I love the 510 that as Modus does. It's the same 510 as the Ohmsmium, the Clone, Dominican version 1.5. I reviewed all of those box mods and this has the same 510. It's one of my favorite 510s. Um, it, it just works very well. It's a little bit firm, but it's not too loose. Um, I don't have any issues with it. Everything sits flush and makes a connection. I have no gap whatsoever on any atomizers that I put on there. 24, 25 millimeters, up to 25 millimeters will sit on here flush. Uh, a 25 millimeter specifically will have a perfect uh, flush um, with the box mod in front. Um, definitely on the outside in the back, you don't have to, you know, it. it it's big in the back, so it's not going to, you know, it, we're really talking about the front here. That is a big pro as well about this box mod. Um, the external, the exterior of this box mod um, is very well made, and I definitely like the exterior. Now, let's talk about ergonomics of this box mod. Um, I personally don't like the ergonomics of this box mod. That is the one big con for me. I have really, really big hands. Uh, I have sausage fingers, okay? I'm Swedish and Irish. I have really, really big hands. And it just doesn't really feel that comfortable for me. Um, I feel that it kind of, where my hand, my fingers go, I feel like it's too close. So for me, for big hands, it's not the most comfortable. It is subjective, but for me, it's really not. I really don't understand why they didn't add a third battery. Um, I think if they added the third battery here, it would push the back pot out a little bit, just a little bit. And it would just push the box mod a little bit more forward. And it would feel, I think it would feel a lot more comfortable in the hand. You would get more battery life. I definitely think they should have went with three batteries on this. That's very subjective. That's completely off topic. But when I first got this, I first put this in my hand. That's how I felt about it right off the bat. It's really, really small. It's really short. It's a small device. It packs a punch. It does up to 180 watts. To me, it feels, in wattage mode, it feels like true wattage, most definitely. Now, let's talk about temperature control. It feels accurate in temperature control. The wattage part of the device in temperature control mode, like let's say at 90 watts, I use a lot my Crown 2. Um, I like my Crown 2 at 90 watts at 550 degrees. That's where I like my Crown 2 specifically. And putting this at 90 watts on this device versus some other devices, it doesn't feel as powerful. In TCR and in stainless steel 316 mode, it doesn't really feel like 90 watts. It kind of feels like it might be kicking out maybe, I don't know, 70, 80. It doesn't really feel 100% the wattage that... It should at 90 watts. It does work. It, it is accurate. It does uh, kick down once it hits that temperature. It, it does kick off. It does temp protect accurately. Uh, I can definitely say that about it. It does TCR as well. It has your curve settings. Uh, if you wanted to do the curve settings for ramp up time. Let's have a vape. So I have it at 110 watts. It's a 0.17 ohm build. I have my uh, Tokugawa RDA by Tendu Vapor on top with my uh, big tips it's on top. I'll have a, I, I put a link in the description in my other video that I did a lot of, I had a lot of questions about the drip tips. Um, so that's the drip tip I have. It's the Goon drip tip. It definitely fits with the Tokugawa. So 110 watts, 0.17 ohm build, 4.5 volts. Let's have eight. Oh, and I have um, some Black Series birthday cake. 70-30 VGPG ratio. Guys, if you haven't really checked out Black Series by Kilo E Liquids, the whole line is phenomenal. I think Kilo E Liquids did a phenomenal job on this whole line. I love this in wattage mode. I love all of Modus's products in wattage mode. Um, this vapes pretty much identical to the Minikin version 1, the Minikin version 1.5. Um, it definitely has uh, 30 more watts than the, the 1.5.
but it is most definitely accurate wattage. 110 watts most definitely feels like 110 watts. It feels like a DNA 200 at 110 watts. Um, I've tested it up to 120, uh, 130, but that's as far as I went. I don't vape at 150 and above, um, so I didn't, it's not really necessary for me. But um, it's definitely an accurate device. It definitely does what it says it does, and it's accurate. And I love um, the performance off this box mod. I love the looks of the box mod. I love the touch screen. Everything I like at the 510. The battery door is very nice as well. You can get your finger in there and pop it off. And uh, you can pop it on very nicely. The magnets on here are very firm. They're very strong. I, I don't go over battery life in my reviews because battery life all depends on the resistance that you have, the wattage that you're using, the temperature that you're using. Um, that all, that all, all boils down to how long you're going to get battery life for. It really doesn't depend on the box mod specifically. It specifically depends on the resistance that you're using and the wattage or temperature or whatever that you're using. I've really been enjoying this box mod, guys. If a mugger stole my book bag and this was in it and I was on the train, I would, I, I would go out and buy it. I definitely would. Um, it comes in black red and white you can get this in three different colors okay i really wish they made it a little bit bigger because it's good for people to have small hands people are going to love this it's got the same type of feeling as the rx23 uh, it's got the same feeling of that with the two batteries and not the three i kind of wish they went with that direction that wismac did and maybe added a third battery or gave you the option to have a third battery because I would use the third battery because this just, it's too small for my hands. If that was in the very back with the third battery, that would be the most comfortable box mod I've ever held. Um, that's why I really like the RX 200S or the RX 200 period is because of the ergonomical feel for my hands. It is the perfect size. It's the most comfortable in my hands specifically. And I wish they kind of went that route on this box mod. Um, it does have holes for ventilation on the bottom. This is firmware upgradable. You can definitely upgrade this. This is firmware upgradable. So that is a huge pro as well. You can charge this via USB as well. So you can charge and you can update it via micro USB. That's a big pro. Sometimes people at work, they don't have batteries or they're just too lazy to put new batteries in it. And they want to put it, charge it and go back to work and come back to it and they have battery life. Um, so I definitely understand that portion of people, um, you know, but it is always best and safe to charge your batteries on the bay and call it a day. If I had to compare it with the version 1.5, I like the ergonomical feel with the version 1.5 a lot more because it's wider and my finger, it's just for my big hands, this is more comfortable in the hand. Uh, if you have smaller hands, you're going to love this. Most definitely you're going to love it in the hand. You can find this at... Asmodus.com, link on screen in description. I'll have the direct link in the description. I'll have additional links. If I do, I'll have the direct links in the description for you guys to go over there and purchase them if you're interested. Now, the price point on this is roughly around $89.95. I've been seeing it on a lot of websites for $89.95, $90. Um, I think that is a really nice price point for this box mod. Asmodus does a phenomenal job at making quality box mods that are very accurate and um, I really like all of their products. I've never gotten a product from them where it had a lot of issues or cons or whatever. They've been stepping their game up. Some of the things initially didn't have, they weren't firm upgradable. Like the Minikin version 1 wasn't firm upgradable. But they fixed that in the version 1.5. That's what I got for you today, squad. I hope you found this video helpful or informative or entertaining. Any of those three. Uh, leave a like, share, subscribe. Comment down below if you have any additional questions or concerns regarding this product or anything else for that matter. I give you content daily, 1080p, 60 frames per second. Don't waste your effing bandwidth not being subscribed to this channel. Remember, squad, stay juiced up. All right? Smoking is gone. Vaping is on. Let's vape on. I'll catch you guys on the next one.